Okay, so I can kill this one. Ouch! I'm gonna start losing troops here. Start losing troops soon. 7 to 4 to 12. Let's try that one. 12. Hell yes. Okay, kill these. Smashing those ones. <laughs> this one is dead. Come on. Nice job. We got this. Um, you can heal. Yeah, heal him. Nice. Good hit. Yeah, now we're gonna go smash this thing. Let's just try. Blame. Can't do anything. If I move, there's a chance this thing is gonna fly over. No, it didn't. Interesting. Because I can't have anyone on the edge of my archers, otherwise they're gonna change to melee. That's definitely not something I want. Okay. So we're gonna recover everyone back in the infirmary. We're gonna get everyone back. Good job. Spent a bunch of mana though. So completed a quest. Yay! Look at this. After driving away a swarm of demonic flies, the Crusaders discovered the rem remains of an unfortunate group of Mandevian knights. Their leader had a bal baldric with an emblem recognized by one of the soldiers. He was the crest of the infamous fallen knight Melander Lins. Breastplate plus two. Yes. Hey, Fe. Hi. You've been missing for quite a while now. I should definitely get positive morale now. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello there. Okay, so I'm not gonna be moving my my people here. We're getting close to Dresden. Wow. Been working, studying a lot these days. Yeah. Remember we told about burnouts, huh? Think about yourself. Always. Um, yeah, I don't have any more moves. Let's just enter this camp. <laughs> How have you guys been been going these days? How are you doing? I should equip that, shouldn't I? Let's see, is it better than hers? Don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. This one is just so good. Be good for a second uh, melee person. Yeah, it would be good for a second melee person. And I have a bunch of special stuff like this helmet, the crest, uh, this thing, the wand. I have so many special stuff. I don't know what to do with them. Not yet, though. Yeah. 
Gosh, I need more pots. Urgently. Oh yeah, I was uh, doing a very important thing, which is uh, removing negative levels of... Yeah, let's start with the... With the first. Okay, Ember, save. Pass it on, Sila. Yes. Good job. Do it again. And again. Good job, let's save. Now you need one more for wall diff. Where is it? Oh, here. No, 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 no. I misclicked. It's him. Now we're good to go. Don't forget to give her some pots. Okay. Let's see. Uh, stealth. Oh, I can't go there. I see loot. Wherever my legs carry me. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Okay, here we go with the goblins. Is that a goblin? Looks like one. For you, Quina, the aged cobalt. Oh, it's a cobalt, right? It has weird, uh, flappy ears, though. Sitting by the small campfire, greet to it an amicable gesture. He doesn't reach for his weapon or his threatening. All in all, his behavior is highly unusual for one of his kind. His clothes look quite unusual too. Not many cobalts opt for human clothing nor do they adorn their possessions with spikes or scales. Greetings, my name is Krina. I'm all alone here, so you may safely come closer. What? He's not hissing? He speaks smoothly, without the usual cobalt hissing. Yeah. Moving slightly aside, the cobalt points to the carcass of a small animal on a stick roasting over the fire. Dinner will be ready soon. Oh my god, we have a civilized cobalt right here. Who are you? As I've already mentioned, my name is Krina, at your service. The cobalt offers a short bow with an unusual gesture for one of his kind to make. As a rule, cobalt do not express any disrespect to anyone other than dragons. Yeah, that's true. And candles. Don't forget candles. I'm a traveler and a friend to the crusade. I can be your friend, too, if you're tolerant toward kobolds. Yes, I am. Krina utters the word tolerant with shocking ease, as if he's something other than the narrow-minded and savage subterranean beast you expect him to be. Kobolds are infamous for worshipping dragons and despising all other races, and few of them would even understand the concept of tolerance, let alone subscribe to it. Okay. Um, what did you just say? Tolerant? Are you sure you're a cobalt? Ah, so you saw through my disguise. Krina tried to mislead you with sweet words and then ambush you. The cobalt utters a loud hiss, which then morphs into an amused chuckle. He's trolling me. Of course, I'm a cobalt. Trust me, you're not the first to be shocked after hearing me speak and realizing that I'm not going to rob or kill you. Oh my god, I have just been trolled by a kobold. I'm lucky. If representatives of other races want to be seen as intellectuals or decent conversionalists, wow, they have to read a lot of books, refine their manners, possess a passing knowledge of classical theater, that's important, and douse themselves in fine perfume. See, chat... If you want to be civilized, douse yourself in fine perfume. Yes. 
Whereas in my case, all I have to do is not lunge at you with a spear or hiss every other word. Interesting. Was it you who left me the note? Cobalt Trunks. Of course. Who else could it be? I wanted to make sure you were interested in the information I can provide. Hmm. What you cooking? Judging by its ears and hind legs, it's a hare. The kobold casts a dubious glance at the animal's mouth, which boasts a set of huge teeth. Oh my god, was it one of the the cute little corrupted bunnies? Oh gosh. Or maybe it's a tiger. Depends on your point of view, I suppose. I think this dude has a great sense of humor. But he's throwing it in my face, actually. What do you want from me? I want nothing from you. I'm asking for nothing. I'm simply offering help. I sympathize with your cause, so I would like to provide whatever support I can from time to time. Does that work for you? No one wants to help without anything in return. And this cobalt is smart. So this cobalt wants visibility. And probably visibility for his people. You know, he seems very keen to look uh, intellect, like, I mean, look presentable, I would say. So he's keen to appearances. And we have just became a commander out of nowhere. And we have contact with the queen and all that. Hmm. How exactly can you help? Good advice, mostly. Throughout my life, I've seen a lot, and a piece of timely advice can be extremely valuable, don't you agree? Of course, if your advisor is a kobold, the merits are not so obvious, but you're in luck. This kobold right here has extensive knowledge of a variety of matters that you may find useful someday. One more thing I have to offer is this hair, after it's cooked. How do you know so much about demons? Kuna gives you a long and heavy look. I've had my experience, some experience with them. I don't want to go into details right now. All I'm saying is that after a rather short and not even hostile encounter with them, I stopped eating meat for several years. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. I'm acting for wholly altruistic reasons. Right. But my motives were something I would rather not reveal. Krina turns his face to you and his wrinkles become more visible in the glow of the fire. We just met five minutes ago. Don't you think it's too early to expect complete candor just yet? As I have already told you, I am a friend of the crusade. You can choose to trust me or you can leave. Wow. He is a good one. He's, he's, he's got a good diplomacy in there. I offer help and ask for nothing in return. So the question is simple. Will you accept the claw of a friendship from a stranger? Or is your distrust stronger than your need for help? Persuasion checks in check, actually. Um, yeah. Krina nods agreeably. And we have a deal. You won't regret your decision. Just drop by my camp every now and then so we can have a word. Perhaps I'll be able to give you some useful tips. Pulling out a small knife, the traveler carefully cuts off two stripped stripes of meat from the roasted hair. He throws one at his toothy maw, while graciously offering the other one to you. What about the rest of my party? A strange animal, for sure, but it seems edible. <laughs> the energies of the world wound mask everything in illusion. Harmless-looking animals try to eat you for dinner. Dangerous paths appear to be straight roads. And your enemies... Sometimes your enemies can look like your friends. Hmm... Hmm. Have you ever been in a situation like this? First, you think of person as your friend and ally, but then the scales fall from your eyes and you realize they're actually your sworn enemy. So you catch this person, you tie them up, and then you start thinking, how should you treat them now? Like your enemy? Like your former friend? It's hard to decide. What would you do if one of your friends turned to be a traitor? As a chaotic person, I try to find out what would force the trader to reveal the truth about their real masters, then do whatever that is. 
Wow. Um, first, let's try these. Are you talking about someone in specific? Wow, your question reeks of paranoia. No, I'm not talking about anyone in specific. And I'm not implicating anyone. Kobo chuckles. I'm sorry, it seems my joke has spoiled your sleep for the next few nights. True. I mean, we already know that there is um, there's a traitor that wants us dead. Uh, the person that um, gave me a handkerchief filled with uh, pheromones for the Swarm King Queen to come after me. Pretty much that. Cobalt grins. What if you have to threaten them with the death of their family? What if you have to grant mercy to someone truly despicable? You don't have to answer. I can tell by your eyes that you're willing to do whatever it takes. And that is correct. If you catch a villain, don't rush to put a noose around their neck. First, learn everything they have to tell you. As for principles and morality, you better stuff them in your deepest pocket and don't bandy them without, about without good reason. Oh. I liked your answer. You obviously think with your head and don't just parrot the instructions of others. Then again, if we are discussing traitors, it's fortunate that betrayal is not reserved for mortals alone. Demons stab each other in the back far more frequently. The rumor is that there are at least two demon stashes within Dresden, filled with arms and supplies that were stolen by Descarates from Bathamids, and vice versa. One of them is near the entrance of the fortress, while another one lies by the entrance of the citadel. Did you learn that? Gossip, hearsay. The world is an ocean of shatter, and I'm quite a skilled, a skilled fisherman. Nice, I like this. Well, that's this valuable information. Of course it is, I wouldn't waste your time. Cracking his knuckles, Krino gives you an inquisitive look. I hope that when the time comes for you to make real decisions instead of hypothetical ones, your wisdom won't fail you. Just one bad choice can turn a revered leader into a disgraced paria. So this is the way of the game telling me that I'm going to have very hard choices in the future with my own companions. And that sucks. <laughs> that is horrible. That is awful. I have a lot of companions that are chaotic and evil. And I like them very much. Like I love Wendu. I love Wojif. I love Darren. But I'm not sure if I can trust them. That's the thing. I think Darren is trustworthy. Yeah. I think he... Yeah. I don't know. I think he's the best of them all. I've seen it happen before. I lived through something like that. My tribe suffered a disaster caused by just one bad choice. Oh gosh. Is he... You should have, should have saved before then. Before that bad choice. And then you could have saved come. And, you know, saved your tribe. <clears throat> Can you even imagine? Kobold squints sadly, his shoulders slumping a bit. With a sigh, he begins to talk. I don't like telling this story, but it might be useful for you to know it. Perhaps it will serve as a warning. Okay, let me know. Kuna clears his throat and starts talking in a sonorous voice, reveals his experience as a bard. Oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Mm. <clears throat> I was born into the mighty and proud tribe of the Night Ruby. Our caves were vast, our mine shafts were rich in uh, quartz and metals, and our underground lakes were brimming with fish. And of course, we had plenty of slaves. The Night Ruby was a model of cobalt success. It was a tight knit greedy and aggressive tribe that intimidated even a few of nearby human settlements. But there was a flaw underlying our power. Once, long ago, a leader of our tribe signed a pact with devils, promising them the soul of every tribe member in exchange for help and prosperity. Since then, every new all-watcher had to agree to the pact, and the power of the tribe grew, as did the number of lost souls. It was like that until our leader, Ermac, don't I know this name? I think I know this name, came to power. 
She was a principled and proud elder who didn't want to bend to the knee to the hell. So she refused to sign the pact, and all kinds of calamities befell our tribe. The tribe was attacked by its neighbors at the devil's instigation. Epidemics broke out. Then our slaves rebelled. They came after their former masters in the dead of night. Our clutches of eggs were ravished. Our altars were desecrated. And our warriors were slain in their burrows. The slaves paid us in full for our cruelty and arrogance. They hunted us, chasing us down through the caves and mine shafts, level by level. When we were finally left alone, we had no idea where we were. All we saw around us was darkness. And lurking in that darkness were bloodthirsty and dangerous predators. After raising his voice dramatically, Krina suddenly stops. Then he adds with a teasing smile, I think this moment is enough for a cliffhanger to stop here. Oh, come on! Come on! Shoot. I don't have suspicions about, about Krina. I'd like to know more about you. I'm flattered, but what's so special about me? I've never accomplished any feats in the battlefield, I don't know any special crafts, and I don't even belong to an exotic species. I don't have the slightest idea what you find so interesting about me. What do you do? I'm a traveling bard. And I can already foresee your next question. How does a bard, who also happens to be a kobold, manage to learn, earn a living? All the civilized races of Avistan knows that when you encounter a kobold, the best course of action is to smash its coal, trample it with a horse, and burn the remains just in case. Well, the prejudice that <clears throat> civilized people have regarding my kind is quite understandable. Our infamy as robbers and murderers is more than deserved. So, just imagine the spectacle in any tavern when an articulate kobold in decent clothes shows up, offering to share a story or two for a few coins in a mug of ale. I assure you, no matter how big a deal you are here, if we drop by any tavern in Enderon, all eyes will be on me. I am an exotic oddity. <laughs> Why did you decide to come here? It's the word wound. I just don't like it when the residents of the lower plains get involved in the lives of mortals. I firmly believe that we don't need any advisors to help us handle our own affairs. And we need overlords even less. Well, you're different from other kobolds. So, you were expecting this stupid kobold to praise dragons and boast about his exploits. My life has given me many opportunities to communicate with beings from other races. So I found a common language with them. Okay, I have a question about demons. You mentioned you know a lot about them. My humble knowledge is at your disposal. What is a demon's main weaknesses? It's a fact that they are hostages of their own nature. And by their nature, demons are just a bunch of mad apes. A grotesque parody of ordinary chaos. You don't need to make a bunch of apes angry. You just give them one of them a banana and army the other one of a stick. They'll kill each other without your direct, direct intervention. That is nice to know. I wonder if how many demons I'm actually going to be able to talk to, to do something like that. How do you know so much about them? I've had some experiences. Yeah. Yeah. We heard about that already. Do you know anything about wounds inflicted by demons that first appear, then disappear, and later reappear again? Like the one I have? You know, just if you, if you know. Do we need to resort to platitudes such as the weirdest tricks can be expected from demons? Or can I just skip to that part? I've never heard anything like you're describing, but new sorts of nasty stuff appear in the world wound every day. However, if we think about it some more, don't you think that this wound doesn't cause enough trouble to be something the demons did to you on purpose? Oh, so he knows that it's on me? Great. When you're hit by the magic of the abyss, you know instantly that death is coming your way, and fast. Huh. Okay, tell me stories. Oh gosh, it's a long one. Which part would you like to know? The tribe. Is gonna tell me the same thing again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard about my unusual powers? 
I've heard you're either extremely lucky or quite the opposite. <laughs> well, I do have a bit of luck. You survived the massacre in Canabras just to spearhead a new suicide mission. On the other hand, you survived then and most likely you will survive now. Good luck on this noble endeavor. Okay. Thank you for your help. I'll be coming by shortly. I want to know the rest of your story. Good luck. I believe you need it. Can I loot your stuff? Another Elven notes. Forwards. No backwards, I have backwards. so many Elven notes. Any perception? Doesn't feel like there was. Oh. What's that? Okay. I was like, I'm not gonna hit it. Like, everyone failed, even me. Then Windu got it. High perception, too. Right. Trail me. Wand of Dimensional Door. Mass. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. We just hit jackpot look at this guys look at this oh this is beautiful what's in wait beautiful by the way what day is it 29th this is awesome piece of gear yeah by the way did i get anything else i didn't look no, I didn't. This map is quite big. Okay, let's go. It only works one time though, I think. Ten times. Yeah, but I don't need to to use this many times. I'm gonna avoid it as much as I can. But it's just good to have. I mean, I can, I can not take uh, dimensional door like for a longer time if I can avoid it. Are you done? No, not yet. Shoot. Okay, let's keep on going. Mm -hmm. I failed. Oh, it was Wodif. The sneak. The sneak sneak. Oh, gosh. Spiders? Oh, great. Okay. Cover me, alright? Wodif, you're on one side by yourself. Wendu, you're effed. And when do no, help him? Wardiff, what are you doing? Why not cool? Oh no, I don't want you doing that. No, no, no. Uh... Shoot, yeah. Don't spend your resources, girl. I don't like this. I don't like this encounter at all. <laughs> I don't like this encounter. <laughs> one bit. Especially don't like that Wendu is the one. Okay. <laughs> what? This goddamn spider here. Okay, you need to reposition. Is it on Wojif now? Sila? The inheritor. Guide my blade. Okay. You know, just more experience and nothing else. I mean it's fine. Rules are made to be broken. Nice heal. Save. Let's go. 
getting a little late. I need to hit the bed soon. Till next time, till I see you tomorrow.